Oh! No way! You can't see it. Can't see it. Might have to come back tomorrow. No, I'll let you try to see it. Very excited because this is not a standard. This doesn't look like any of those boxes, does it? Nope. Looks like some fine jewelry. I'm hoping. Come on, Rolex watch. Come on, Rolex. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're back here at this unit that just keeps going and going and going and going. And man, so we've gone through tons and tons of boxes, but it looks like still a whole pile full of boxes to go through. Hey, YouTube Universe, how are we doing today? Robert Zaylor from Second Sense Auctions, auctioneer extraordinaire, here to show you some more great stuff from our unboxing videos. And man, what a locker this has been $125 and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve boxes right here that we haven't opened. There's more boxes in the back still. So there's so many boxes and so many great things. Mike's sick of going through this, but there's man, it's so awesome. So I got Magic Mike here today. And once again, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. All kind of great videos. You gotta get your notifications. And if you're subscribed and you haven't been getting your notifications, unclick the bell, re-click the bell, it'll put you back on the notifications. And don't forget, the best thing about Second Sense, you can bid on the items you see at www.secondsense.com, www.secondsense.com. We take bids and we ship all across the entire country. So you get to see and buy the stuff at the auction. So we're gonna start right with this box. Let's see what we got real quick. And uh, oh, oh, wow. It's interesting right off the top. So I, I see this sheath right here, so, and I see this little red box here, and let's grab one of these first. Look at this, CDs. One, two of these things loaded with CDs. Now let's grab this little red case and see what's in here. What do you think's in here, Mike? A uh, harmonica. That's because you already looked, huh? I know, that's a guess. It's a guess, huh? Yeah. It is the harmonica. And this is a good harmonica right there. You see that? The Chrometa 2. Okay. So what that means, or 12. But you see this right here? Mm -hmm. So you have two different tones you can go to. This side is a little rough though. We'll have to try to clean it up the best we can. But I know this is a Horner right there. Made in Germany. And so that's all that does, it changes the, the key. So boom. The dual key harmonica, I know they're good money, and it's a Horner, and everyone likes those. So we'll have to see what else is in here. Let's pull out this bad boy. Put it up! <laughs> wow. This ain't a cheap Chinese one either. Look at that. It does have some rust on there, but it's made in Brazil. And this is sharp right here. Let's see. So, I'm sure it'll cut your hand off, or your fingers. Good thing the beard of wonder is not here, because he likes to lose fingers. I shave his beard with it. So let's see what else we got. Oh, oh, oh look! At Another harmonica. Once again, dirty, but I'm sure we can clean this up. You know, a lot of it's just actual filth. So I'm very interested. I mean, what kind of weird thing in here? VHS tapes, nothing. So we got some VHS tapes in here. Just who knows. Blank VHS tapes, you're always scared. Oh, it says something here. Home vacation shots. We don't want to see any home vacation shots, so. Sorry, I'm uploading a video right now. Getting you guys ready for another thing here. It's part of my job. So I gotta put a little title on the video. See, Magic Mike gets fired. That's a joke, <laughs> don't comments out there. He's not getting fired, it's just a joke. Title of the videos, the Beard of Wonder gets fired. Not just joking. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Whoa! It actually has power. Wow. Amazing. Who knows how long it's been in storage? What the heck? I don't even want to. <laughs> okay. Meat Men Gay Male Comics. So, this is Doll Comics. I want to. 
Uh, you guys can put two and two together if you know what I'm saying. So who knows, there might be some more. Uh, that's why when you see all these VHS tapes too, you're like, you probably don't want to know uh, Ebony Eagles. I'm sure they're not talking about uh, bald eagles, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so this one's called uh, Midnight Sun. So looks like we got some porn tapes in here. Who knows what else? Whoa! So we got Vanna White Playboy Edition. They put it in the plastic. 50th anniversary of Playboy. They put it in the plastic. And, oh, wow, look at that. 16 Magazine, August 70. So 1970, 16 Magazine. After Dark. Another After Dark. So we got some of these vintage uh, magazines. Some of them can have value. Once again, with any kind of magazine, books, it's always... Condition. Tell them again, Mike. Condition is everything. I told you guys Mike talks. He's warming up. <laughs> so, look. Magazine. Oh, yeah. I thought you were telling me to look. I, that's why I was messing with you, Mike. <laughs> look! Magazine. Father and the bride. Oh, the president and his daughter. So... I'm not a crook! <laughs> Holy smoke. So we got loaded with vintage magazines down here. And we got some more meat, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, Torso Magazine. The Prayer Book Board Game Book. Shima is for Real. A book of prayer in. So, it's like a Jewish. Religious book, prayer book, I'm not sure. So, wow. Ooh. This is getting interesting right here. So, got some old pounds. Looks like we might have water damage, though, unfortunately. Oh, and how'd you have it in plastic and it gets wet? You know what I'm saying? But look at this Captain Marvel map of the United States and the world. Santa Fe, military and naval map of World War II. Look at that, nice. So this is issue number 76, and a 10 cent comic, so that's what you were looking for. Ooh, Robinson Crusoe. Oh, mm. look at it, sticking. It's got horrible damage. This one's not that bad, Captain. I mean, it's in bad condition, don't get me wrong. But we'll go to the first page, you'll find the date right here. See right there? 1947, volume 13, number 70. So the cover's getting detached. But this is a 1940-some comic. So, pretty cool. And unfortunately, this is another 1945. But once again, the cover is sticking, and I hate to rip it. I'm trying to, and that's the problem with paper. Well, I see what happened. The tape from the comic book bag, and this is often thing with bad taping jobs. There's nothing you can do. The only thing you can do is damage the book. It's, it's going to be stuck on there. But Red Rider Comics, number 27. Ten Cent Comic. Very interesting. There's Ten Cent Comics out there. Horrible condition. If they're already comics, it could be a thousand, five thousand dollar comic books. They're rare comics, so. What is this? Ration book and token holder. So this is probably World War II ration book, I'm assuming. Look at Army Songbook and War Ration Book. So the battle cry of freedom. Yes, we'll rally around the flag, boys. We'll rally once again. I don't know how it goes, but that's my Army Songbook. Pretty cool. So once again, the boxes, I mean, I'm just in the first one box. I open and just find all this cool stuff in there, and it, it, that's what's in the heart about this. So now we got tons and tons of more. Magazines, hopefully, we find some more old comics. Let's see what we got. You gotta be careful, though. Okay. So, yeah, we're getting some, uh, let's see how to. There you go. So, Nudist Pictorial. So, this is a nudist magazine from back in the day, and basically, it would show people at nudist facilities, and, uh, there's a lot of pictures in there that probably would be illegal nowadays, just to let you know. 
So I don't go, I usually just destroy all these things here. You got, it looks like a lot of men magazines. And uh, hey, be happy. <laughs> oh, look. See, now we got another 25 cent Dark Shadows comic book. Another 16. And some of these, you know, these are in horrible condition. But some of these old magazines like this, people like them because they'll take these pictures out of here. You know, you get a picture like this. The Jackson 5, you cut that out, you put it in a frame. Beautiful. And you can sell it. Well, of course, you know, most people might not want the Jackson 5, but if it's somebody a little bit more out, out there. So we have an old craft magazine. Da na 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 The Godfather meets Jaws. <laughs> Two great movies of the 70s. This one's missing its cover. Looks like we have another uh, Meat Men. Whoop. Here, blocker, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to block that one out. So. Oh! Gumby? Goes with Gumby. Gumby! Where's Gumby? <laughs> Where's Gumby? So we'll have to keep looking, keep watching. See what else we find. Maybe we'll find Gumby to go along with this. So let's see what else. There's trucks and cars down here. That's about it. So let's see what else we can find. More great stuff. Let's see what else we got. This box says glass. Holy smoke. So it's just a huge, heavy bowl. Let's see what it looks like. It looks like we got like a, maybe a smoke glass there. And this thing is heavy, heavy, heavy. Very well made glass fruit bowl, whatever kind of bowl. But that's the only thing in this whole box. base I don't see any mark or nothing on it it's well made though and just how this is made feels good and there's more in here I don't know if they're the same thing oh no this ain't this is really heavy really heavy it's either cast iron or it is a piece of art glass that's my guess there's only two things that feel that heavy cast iron or glass like heavy duty art glass so Let's see if I know what I'm talking about. It's either I'm going to open this up and feel really stupid right now, or you guys are like, man, bro, no place talking about. He must have been in this for a long time. So what do you think it is, Mike? I think it's whatever you say it is. You think I'm going to be <laughs> stupid? <laughs> ho, ho! Ooh. Look at that art glass right there. Nice. See, I know what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. I've been doing this a long time. Heavy duty. That's oh, a rooster. Yeah, so it's Fifth Avenue Crystal. Right there. So it's a yeah, art glass rooster. So a nice piece. And a lot of people collect roosters, so this could be a $20, $30, maybe $50 piece. It just really depends. It's got great colors in there. Now this piece is in there, so. And everything's just so well wrapped. These people are antique dealers, collectors. I'm not exactly sure, but they had a... So here's another heavy piece. I'm not sure what this is. But look at this wrapping on it. Oh, it's a vase, I think. Yep. Very modern style vase. Very thin. You know, it has a very cool look. Great designer piece, art piece. Oh, right there, it's marked. L.A.S. Handcrafted something. So, L.S.A. Glass. Nice piece. So right there, two nice pieces of glass. Plus that little, this little base in there. And we had three pieces in this entire box. That was it. But three good pieces. So, let's see what's in this box here. It says metal. Oh, 
candlestick. Oh, check out this little, this is a little hand, pound, hand pounded copper. It's got all the little dings and dents in there. There's the lid, but it looks like it's missing a little top on there. This whole thing's a full metal pieces. I'm the champion of the world! At least the champion of the storage unit. So five little or three little brass candlestick holders. And you just don't know. Look at this piece right here. So it says silver plate, Lennard silver plate on the bottom. So a lot of times if those are sterling, that's a good piece. Of course, everything's dropping value right now, so. It'll all come back, don't worry ladies and gentlemen. So this whole thing's just loaded with pieces once again. We say another piece of silver plate. But all metal pieces in here. Who knows, I'll go down one more. Let's see what's this one down here with this. So this is a piece of pewter, it's got bent right there. So another, another nice box. We found lots of cool treasures in here, lots of cool decorative pieces. We'll go through one more box for hour. Ugh. What the heck is this box? So it looks like we got uh, little protractors and compasses in there. <laughs> Look at this. It says number in the 197 Marvel Globe Skate Court. So if we got one, what does that mean, Mike? There's another one there. That's right, Mike! <laughs> if there's one, there's gotta be two. There's two. Oh no! Oh. So at least they're metal. <laughs> you know, I just tell people, whatever you do, don't try this at home. I'm a trained professional at being stupid. Cause I got a brand new pair of roller skates and you got a brand new key. Whoa! All right. So yeah, I have balance. So, whoa! You guys seeing yourself in there? Whoa! <laughs> uh oh, they might saw Magic Mike. I might have to block that out. <laughs> I don't want the lady seeing how good looking he is. He's six foot five, two hundred and eighty-five pounds. Solid rock muscle. Chiseled. Chiseled. That's what we call him. Chisel. Look at this nice picture right there. So man, there's just so many cool pieces. So many great things. Let's go through one more box. I just want to go. I just want to keep digging. I just don't know what we're gonna find next. Like this. Little. Looks like a two. Oh! No way! You can't see it. You can't see. It. Might have to come <laughs> back tomorrow. No, I'll let you guys see it. I'm so excited right now. I just seen this. So I just see Mickey Mouse. Oh, Disney collection. So I don't know if these are watches or what. We're gonna take one of these out first. They look brand new. I see it. Look at the price tag on the back. $75. $75 price tag. Wow. So. Let's take a look. Oh! Woo-hoo-hoo! Ooh, wow. Wild Waves. Brand new. Nice. Vintage old stock. I mean, these look pretty old. I mean, they're not super old, but I'm saying it's got to be pretty old. It's got all the original paperwork, never been out of the case. I was trying to find the date. So, Disney. It's made by Fossil, the watch. Fossil watch. I don't see any date in here. But you know what I'm excited about? What's that, Mike? What, what can Rob be excited about? Uh, the fact that there's more of them. That's right! <laughs> so we got one. Now the question is, Batters. are these all the same or are they all different? Better sign. Man, I'm so excited after that first one. <laughs> I mean, right here, I should make my money back on the end. Right here, just in these four little boxes. Songs are all filled. Let's check a look at this one. So this price tag only says 45 bucks. 
Not as good as the last one. Let's see what it is. Oh, anticipation. Oh, wow. Look at that. I got Mickey and Donald. Mickey looks like the conductor. Donald's in the band. Very cool. New old stock. Disney Store exclusive. So let's take a look at it. We got two more in here. I'm a little excited. Classic Adventures. Oh, yeah. Everyone's favorite. Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> so there we go. We got Mickey Mouse, Jack. Very cool piece. Exclusively made for the Disney store. Same thing, $45 brand new. So $45, $45.75. Man. Money, money, money. Money. All right. Now I'm interested because those three are all the same, but this one's completely different. So I'm not sure what this one is about. There's no price on this one. So let's see. Oh, nice. The classic, classic Mickey. Mickey Mouse watch right there. We got the leather band on it. Nice watch. So right there, four Mickey Mouse watches. I paid $125 for the unit. 30 bucks a piece if I could average off of these. Man, that's the money back for the unit. I know. I probably should go, but we gotta see what else is in here. This is in this box right here. Oh, oh yeah. Right here, look at Mickey Mouse watch by Laura. So we got another Mickey Mouse watch. Looks like they paid 10 bucks bidding on it on eBay. Let's see what year it was. 1998. They bought this 1998, 10 bucks. And then I see this in there. <laughs> I'm very excited because this is not a standard. This doesn't look like any of those boxes, does it? Nope. Looks like some fine jewelry. I'm hoping. Come on, Rolex watch. Come on, Rolex. <laughs> Ooh, not a Rolex, but man, that's a nice looking Mickey Mouse watch. An older one. And it looks, I was just going to say what you just said, it looks old. So let's see what's marked on the back here. It says base metal and it's Swiss. Something right there on the band. So this is definitely an older Mickey Mouse watch with the hands, a Swiss movement. So right there, now we got six Mickey Mouse watches. Is there anything else right in here? Who knows? Let's see. I mean, now it's like everything you see, you're like, what is that? This is a little step counter here. I don't know if there's anything else going in here. It looks like paperwork. Paperwork, cards. I'm not going to go into that gift card. So. But yeah, it looks like a... If there's anything else left that's going to be in here. Oh, we have the cover for The Giving Tree, one of my favorite books. You know, I'm like The Giving Tree. I give and I give, and they take and they take. But I just keep giving. So, I don't see anything else in here that's too exciting, but man, we just got six Mickey Mouse watches, a vintage one, new old stock ones. Awesome. So excited. We got more boxes to go through, more things to find. Who knows what else? This unit just won't stop giving. It's like me and the giving tree. It just keeps giving and giving and giving. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. So many great things. So many great items. Magic Mike, Bearded Wonder, Chachi, and Joe. And myself over here, Auctioneer Extraordinary Robert Zabel. And don't forget the best thing. You can bet on items at www.secondsense.com. So keep watching. Keep safe out there. We appreciate everybody out there. We send our love. Send the love back. Thank you all for watching.